Hey guys, I'm Danny, one of the small group leaders here at Ray's Mill, and welcome to RM Kids Online. This week, we're going to be picking up in Matthew 7, 24 through 29, where we're going to be reading a parable that Jesus told at the end of the Sermon on the Mount. See, in this parable, there are two different builders who decide to build their homes in two very different ways. The first builder decided to build his home on a solid foundation, whereas the second builder decided to build his house on shifting sand. Now, the message here actually becomes pretty clear, and that is that for us to have a solid foundation in life, we need to have a foundation of hearing and doing what Jesus says. Also, parents, don't forget we have something for you. If you'll scroll down and click the Parent Packets link below, you will receive some activities and questions that will help you reinforce this week's bottom line. Next to it, you will find our God Times devotionals. These are for the week. They are to help your child develop the habit of spending time with God each day.
I win! <laughs> Why are you still running? Why are you running so slowly? Is it me? It's him, right? I already won! And welcome to the So and So Show. Brandon, do you want to tell everyone out there what we're doing today? Sure. John is training me in the first and final annual blindfolded nose recorder three legged race. So, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It Brandon is. and I are entered into a three mile race tied together at three the leg, miles. blindfolded uh, while playing the nose recorder. Yes, but I've never played the nose recorder before. Hey, no fear, my friend. I will be here to guide you every step along the way. Okay, why don't you give them a little taste of your musical prowess? Oh, well, I shall. There we are. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. You. All, right. all right, let's get started. All right, all right. First step, <clears throat> take your nose recorder and place it in your nostril. Okay. Mm. Okay, I got it. Now, what makes a nose recorder different than a normal recorder? It's played with your nose. Uh, Come on, focus. Okay. 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 Does that feel comfortable? Define comfortable. All right, I'll take that as a yes. Now, give it a nice big... Okay. Oh! No, no, okay, hold on. Put your fingers here, all right, just like that. Where, where? Yep, yep, like yep, that's that? right. Yeah, yeah, okay. go again, go again, go again. No, no, not there, not there, not there. You gotta cover the, there's a hole underneath with your thumb I, I and a hole on that. top. No, I got, no, 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 I got it, listen. No, 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 that's no, what I'm... no, 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 it's like this. Even. No, 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 you're not, listen, just stop that, stop that. That's... What? What are you doing? I was getting it. No. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Uh, hey, Hans, welcome back, man. Okay, so uh, we know who he is, but just in case, why don't you tell them who you are and what you know? Hello. Guten Tag. My name is Hans Decibel. I am the expert in all things auditory. Mm -hmm. Auditory? Yeah, this is correct. Auditory. With your ears. Yeah. Well, Hans, the reason I asked you here... Ha! Here! Ha! Ha! Oh. I hear what you did there. <laughs> Please continue. Oh. Uh, yeah, the reason I asked you... Here! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the reason I... Uh, that you are at this place at this moment in time mm -hmm. is I'm trying to train Brandon for a race and he's not listening to me. So can you help me out with this? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. I understand your problem. I can help with this. To train the ears, one must do important listening exercises. Oh. I will train you now. Now, the first exercise will involve me saying a sentence, and you must repeat it after me. Oh, that sounds easy enough. While wearing headphones, playing white noise in your ears. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, wow. There are many distractions in our world. We must train our ears to hear through the noise. And yes, you at home can play as well. Listen carefully and see if you can hear what are the words I say. Headphones on! Oh, headphones on. This. They're good. Do you know what I said, Brand? I don't think so, but I'll try. I, a famous friend of spaghetti has spaghettos. <laughs> Nine. No. Jan, 
a famous chunk of spaghetti was found in the snow? Nine. Also wrong. The sentence first. A single strand of spaghetti is called spaghetto. Oh, you were so close. I was. Nine. No. Not close at all. For our next training exercise, I will play an audio recording of three completely different words being said at the exact same time. Ah, mm. All right, bring it on. Let's do it. Headphones on. Okay. These Please. Connected to that. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us begin. Bounce the page here. Right. No, can we? Yeah, can you play it again? Yeah, I can do this. Bounce the page here. Uh, okay. Brad? I think it's basketball, spaceship, and uh, dinosaur. Nine. No. She's wrong. Okay, uh, I I think it's basketball. Uh, learn to share. And nine. Okay. This is wrong. What do you think it was? I can't hear you. Louder. No, they don't. They, they, you won't. Nine. I can't hear you. The right answer was newspaper, rocking chair, basketball. Oh, oh we got one. That's hard. Your ears are still not trained. Mm. For a final exercise, we will need this. Okay. Here are the rules. I will show Jan a word. You will both step up to the aquarium. You will dunk your heads under the water. Jan will yell the word to you. Uh, oh, okay. 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 All right. Step up. Oh, oh, oh. Here is the word. Oh, boy. Okay. Here we go. Ready? And are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. In three, two, one, go! Was it sunscreen? Yeah! yeah. You are making progress, Brand. Did you get it too? Uh -huh. I can't hear you. Louder. I can't ever hear them. Okay. okay. So the next word. Uh, okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> is it pineapple? Oh. Uh oh. Nine. Wait, wait, wait. The answer is. Platypus! Oh, oh platypus. Okay. Yeah. That's a hard one. But good job on the first one. Thank you. Did you get that one? Platypus? I still can't hear him. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. The final clue. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. That's good. Go! <laughs> I know this one. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Huzzah! Hey, Kellen. Fellas, got a story for us today? Sure do. One of Jesus' disciples, Matthew, wrote down a famous sermon Jesus gave that we know today as the Sermon on the Mount. Now, the Sermon on the Mount had a lot of famous quotes from Jesus. Things like, you are the light of the world, love your enemies, and when you give, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. At the end of the sermon, Jesus told a story about a wise builder and a foolish builder. And here to help me tell the story are my friends Becky and Bethilda. After his sermon, Jesus said, so then, Everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise builder. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's really good too. Okay, this is this is a really good house. Where should I build it? Let's see. 
I can't really see the ground, so yeah. Sand. Well, that'll never work. Perfect. Okay. So the person who hears what Jesus says and does what Jesus says is like a wise builder who builds their house on the rock. Then there's the foolish builder. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, this is a good house. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Now, where should I build it? Nope. Too many trees. Too rocky. Hmm. This is nice. Take a look at this perfect beachfront property where you can build your next dream house, complete with views of the ocean on three sides. Why hasn't anyone built here before? We don't know, but their loss is your gain. Get it today for half price. Half price? Is there something wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with it. Would I lie? So Jesus said, the person who hears what he says, then doesn't do what he says, is like a foolish builder who builds their house on the sand. Both kinds of builders know how to build their houses. But what matters is the foundation. Because Jesus said, when the rain comes down, when the water rises, and then winds blow and beat against the houses, the house built on the sand will fall with a loud crash. But the house built on the rock will not fall. Oh no! I really should have built on the rock. The end. Great story, Kellen. I'm gonna go build a house today on a strong foundation. Okay, but the story really wasn't about building houses. Oh, right, it's about hearing what Jesus says and not just hearing his words, but actually putting them into practice. That's how you build on a strong foundation. Why? Oh, I think you've got it. Thanks, Kellen. Whew. No doubt. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, later. You know, John, it's a good thing that Hans was here earlier to train me how to listen. Oh, yeah? Hey, you're ready to take another stab at the nose recorder? No, but... Shh. Uh, what are you... If I'm going to do what God says, first I have to hear him, right? <laughs> right, but I, I'm not sure that's how it works. Oh, how does it work? Uh, like this! Reveal the question! Oh, how can you hear from God? Yeah, can you hear God speak to you out loud in a deep, booming voice? Or maybe you hear God when you read the Bible. The Bible has all kinds of wisdom and words from God. Or, or maybe you hear God through a teacher or a friend or through nature. Yeah. Or... I think there are a lot of ways that you can hear from God. Yeah, so talk about it with each other. How can you hear from God? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. This sweet song go, that's how it goes, oh, oh, that sweet no solo, it sounds so sweet, oh, so, oh, <laughs>